If you're having problems balancing this particular equation, the aluminum plus the water gives you aluminum hydroxide and hydrogen, that's probably because it's a pretty tough equation. So let's go work through it and see if we can't find the solution. First, I want to write down the atoms on each side of the equation. So I have aluminum, one of those, hydrogen, two of those, and then oxygens, one. On the product side, aluminum, I have one. And then for the hydrogens, I have the three times the one, so I have three of those, but don't forget these hydrogens out here, and that gives us five hydrogens. Oxygens, we have the three times the one, so we have three of those. So it's pretty messy. We have five, three, and then some even and odd numbers over here. What I'd like to do is try and get some even numbers over here. And usually what I'll do is I'll multiply by two to have that happen. So if I put a coefficient of two, in front of the aluminum. Let's see how that changes things. So now we have one times two for the aluminum atoms. And then for the hydrogen, we have the three times the one. So we have three of those, but this two, this coefficient applies to everything. So it's really two times this three. So we have six hydrogens here plus the two here for a total of eight. So one more time, we have the three times the one, that gives us the three hydrogens, and we need to multiply that three by the coefficient two for the whole thing. So two times three is six, plus these two here gives us eight. For the oxygens, we have the three times the one, so we have three oxygens, and then again, the two times this three, we have six total oxygens. So now we're getting somewhere. We could take and put a four in front of the water. So we'd have two times the four. That would give us eight hydrogens. Now the hydrogens are balanced. And then the one times the four, that would give us four oxygens, not quite balanced. And then we have two aluminums here. We could just put a coefficient of two because one times two, that equals two. And it feels like we're almost there. But now we have this problem with the oxygen atoms. I'm going to need to multiply this oxygen by something other than four to have the six. And it seems like maybe I'll just change the four, change this coefficient four to a coefficient of six and see what happens. So I'll put a six here instead of that four. And now I have two times the six. That gives me 12 hydrogens, okay. And then one times the six, that'll give me six oxygens. So the oxygens are fine, but now the hydrogens are a problem. What I can do though is I know that right here I have these six hydrogens. So if I have six plus something will give me 12. I know that six plus six. So if I could get this to be six, add it to this six, everything would be balanced. And I can do that by putting a three right here. Because two times three is six plus the six here, the six hydrogens. That would give me 12. Let's try that. So I have my three times the one, those three hydrogens there, and then the two multiplied by the whole thing. So two times three, that's my six hydrogens with this aluminum hydroxide, plus two times three, that's six. That gives me 12 hydrogens. And now this equation is balanced. So it's a little complicated. You might need to go back and watch how we did this again. But this is the balanced equation for Al plus H2O yields AlOH3 plus H2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.